So today we are at the Candied Yam, a brand new restaurant in Grand Rapids in the Kentwood area. And we are exploring all the different offerings that they have. It's a good soul food collection here. With us is Jessica Ann Tyson, one of the owners. Hello. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for coming out today. We're so excited you're here at the Candy Day Out. Okay, can I just say this is a new beginning for you? <laughs> it is. Okay, it so really is. <laughs> let me just go over this. Jessica Ann has been events by Jessica Ann. Yes. Right? Yep. Then we, we moved sure into did. PR, which you're still doing. Yes. And you do all of that. Yes. But you've now moved into the restaurant realm. Tell me how that came about. Well, I lost my mind. So after <laughs> that was I lost the first it, part. That was right? the first part. <laughs> so, but you know, Jennifer, we were constantly in the event planning world and public relations firm. You world you're always dealing with food you're always dealing with what it looks like what it should look like what it tastes like or whether it's bride or corporation retirement uh, whatever it is and so a very close uh, family friend uh, Dr. Jermon Glenn and his wife and we're so close and we were foodies we love to eat and we thought that we were missing uh, a little bit of this here mm -hmm. and so we talked about it for a while um, he his family's a great cook me my family's a great cook we laughed about it, but finally decided we should do something about that. And we did, and the Candy Dion was born. And so you've brought your version, your family collection of recipes as soul food in the Grand Rapids area. Tell me about that. What the recipe compilations? Here. So, you know, um, soul food, it comes from the heart. It's made with love, and uh, it's something that you kind of gather around, and you don't rush through it. You don't rush through making it, number one, and you don't rush through eating it, right? So uh, one of the things that we do here at the Candy Dion that's different. We like to not kill our soul food. So when we make our greens, we make them, season them very well with smoked turkey, but we use local um, turkey uh, makers, we use local greens, we use everything that we can that's fresh, that's local, and we have some organic items that we use in our recipes too. So that's a little bit different um, from soul food because soul food back in the day was made with the little scraps. So now we've elevated that. Fat. Yes. And, and so you're a little healthier. We're a little bit healthier. We're a lot bit healthier. I have to say we're a lot bit healthier because a lot of our items we don't cook with meat, but there's so many different ways that you can season and flavor food because you have a lot of vegans, a lot of vegetarians, a lot of people who are gluten-free, and we want to market and make sure that everyone can come to the table and enjoy great Southern hospitality and great Southern cooking. Okay, so you're 50% owner, so do you get in there and actually do some of the cooking? Are you hands-on? Are you kind of back? You know, you Jennifer, they don't that? let me in the kitchen. <laughs> so we had a wonderful chef, um, executive chef Mike Staper, who's been nationally recognized. He actually helped us to get us open. Tommy Fitzgerald, our mm -hmm. friend, mentored mm -hmm. us uh, during the course of it all. And now we have Chef D, who is just amazing. So he does, he likes to do his thing, but they follow the recipes. We got together and tweaked them and made sure that they could come to scale. And uh, I just, uh, I, they don't let me do that. But they do let me pick up the trash every now and again. So, yeah, you get to do the stuff out here, but you're not where you want to be yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so tell me, the first thing... They do thing, let me taste the recipes, though, too. That's good. Just in case if they change something or whatever. Because you'd know. Yes. And they you're know. like, none of that. <laughs> Go back and do that again, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so tell me, the first um, weekend that you were open, you've been open a couple of weeks, yeah. out the door. Jennifer, I think I saw things on social media yes, out the door. We could not have even planned that. Um, our rep, our food rep, was like, "I've not ever seen this before." But you know, it's just a different cuisine, and everyone's interested in what it is. And um, so we had 1,500 people within three days, and it was crazy. It was a nonstop go, go, go. And um, so now we're just trying to find our space how many people really will be wanting to come, but they still keep coming, so that's okay. That's we'll okay, take it. keep coming, we'll take right? It. Yes. <laughs> and, and with the switch from events to PR to now restaurant ownership um, and politics, all of yes. that involved into one, you're very busy. How does that, um, how do you feel about that, this new piece of your life? You know what, Jennifer? Um, I feel comfortable about it because I love people. 
So this gives me the opportunity to come in and, and speak to the community, talk to the community, break bread with the community. So I'm very, very comfortable. And like I said, I know that there's a capable staff. We have about 15 on staff. So they're here to take care of that and to help our dreams come true. So I couldn't ask for something better. All about dreams. All about dreams. Order up. Order up. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Support for WGVU Digital Studios Order Up, provided by Spartan Nash. Spartan Nash, taking food places. More at SpartanNash.com.